Oh, what do we have here? It's a vending machine from the Royal Deli. Hey, what's going on team? Get some? Nice to see ya. Let's see what we got here. Everything is available. These are Doria rice dishes, a bunch of different varieties. And they're calling this restaurant quality frozen meal. They look gorgeous, don't they? So these are all the same three here. And these two are different. So there's five different types, it looks like. There's the Cosmo Doria. Whatever that is, Cosmo. And then this one is the Seafood Doria. And then over here, this is the Beef Stew. And then down below, we've got some curry dishes. So a type of beef curry. And this one, also some type of beef. Looks amazing, it's a soup dish. Uh-huh, all right. Well, let's, let's get into it, shall we? Yes, we shall. Everything is available. All right, prices are between 650 and these two bottom ones are a bit, a bit more expensive, but oh, can you even use cash? You cannot use cash. I'm all prepared with my, my cash here. Here we go, here we go. I see card, they do have the train card, the Suica, that's the one I have. Don't need the cash, we'll just use this. I see card. Okay, and let's go number four, five, six. All right, there's what it looks like. The Cosmo Doria is nice and heavy. Yeah, it's a good portion of food. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, next up is the Seafood Doria. Okay. And the Beef Stew Doria. Oh yeah. Have you guys ever had Doria before? It's really popular in Japan. It's a nice way to eat rice, yeah. It's, it's all, you mix it together. The rice is on the bottom and it's usually got cheese on top. They're delicious, the Doria's in Japan. Yeah, so this is, I don't think I've ever gotten Doria from a vending machine, so this is good. All right, let's do the beef curry next. This is very exotic looking. Looks spicy, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, number eight. Looks rich, doesn't it? They're calling it beef java curry. Oh yeah. Curry from Indonesia. All right, and there's one other type in here. It's a beef stew soup, it looks like. It looks really good. Yeah, so number nine for $12.50. Okay, they're calling it spicy beef soup. All right, I was close. Oh, so now I know what this is. This is Korean spicy beef soup. It's called Yukijan. There's the Korean right there. Yeah, it's gonna be spicy, yo. All right, that's pretty much a meal right there, but what do you say we go look for some more machines first? Maybe we can find some, maybe dessert, sweet items, I'm not sure. Find something else. I'm outside of the pachinko place and they've got a milk machine by the Kieran Company. It's a pretty fancy milk machine in these cartons up here on the top. And then in cups here, these are the more deluxe ones. So let's go for one of these, go for one of the dark, what is it, Bitter Cafe LA? That sounds pretty good. Number 16, that's the one for 260. State of the art, I love this machine. I should have got one that was closer to the center. Oh well, you get the idea. You get the change. Let's do the pull. There it is. Nice. Comes with the straw. All right. And you stab it. Let's 
sucking air up through it. That's better. Ooh, this is some nice rich coffee. A little bit sweet, but not too sweet. That's very nice. And it is, it is definitely bitter, like it says there. So, yeah, tasty. All right, let's get on the train and go find some more machines. Here's a cool vending machine. It sells food tickets to the Saba Udon noodle shop. Should we get some? These places are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. Yeah, you buy your food ticket. I mean, it's a vending machine, right? Yep. Mm, not hungry. Oyama Station. Train models. I see they got a new train here. Mmm. Fancy. Here we go. Oh, my train's on that side. Oh, look out. Both ways. Nope. That's my train right there. Can I get up these stairs and get over there? She's gonna make it. She's got this. I'm gonna take it easy. We'll catch the next one. time is it? No idea. Hey, you guys ever wondered what's on the top of a Pepsi truck? I'll show ya. Right here, all the garbage. That's right, they pick up all the bottles and the cans. Yeah, they do. See? I have arrived at a parking lot, this looks like. And let's pan over this way. We got three vending machines here. This one sells noodles. It's by the Kenmin Company. And this one sells sriracha sauce. Sriracha. That's it. Tons of bottles of sriracha. And this one over here sells fish stock. Soup fish stock. It says, do not drink. This is soup stock. Well, you gotta drink soup, don't ya? I think it just means it's really concentrated. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it all three of these machines. Let's do the food first, because I'm starving. All right, everything available? Mr. Kenmin. I guess this is their, the Kenmin character. The noodle man, or the noodle boy. Yep, everything available, that's good. And let's see, so these are the same. These, 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 these. There's 10 items and we got two of each. So I see, I see. There's five different things, should we get everything? Let's get everything on the menu, shall we? And this machine, also like the last machine, takes the IC card, no cash. See, it's, look at this, it's outfitted for coins and bills, right? But the option's not there. I mean, the option is there, but it's not outfitted for it. Does that make sense? So they could have done it, but. No, you gotta have a card. So, again, credit card, IC card, prepaid card, whatever, your train card, they all work. So, there's an option for everybody, I think. All right, so let's do it. We'll start up at the top here, and this is, what, beef noodles? That's the package, it's cool little. I like the little package, the little character. So, 272 calories, that's not too much. Price is 600 yen, okay. Good number one. And let's see here. Well, it's a little bit different than the last one. Okay, it worked. Yes, it worked. I got 4,734 yen left on the card. It should be enough. 
there's the product. Yeah. Beef noodles. Okay. Okay, so this one is tarako and some kind of beef. And this is a fish roll on top of that one. 600 yen. Let's do that, number three. Coming down. This is exciting. It's always exciting buying stuff from vending machines. Cause you never know what you're gonna get, yo. Well, I mean, you know what you're gonna get, but you don't know how it's gonna taste. You gotta wait till you get home. All right, moving on. They've got a curry one right here, number five. And let's get number six. This is also the curry one. You guys are all telling me, Eric, you gotta do number six. You gotta do number six. So let's do number six. You know, there's one thing I really like about these machines is that the door is always way down on the bottom. And that's good because then it allows you to, you know, practice the squats. You know, you always gotta do your kimchi squat, your Asian squat. If you don't do this, then your days are limited. So there it is, the curry noodles. You can tell this is the curry flavor because it's the color, right? This is the color of curry, that sort of dark yellow. Okay, moving on. Ready, shall we assume the position? Uh, let's see, next is gonna be, oh, these guys, look at these dark colored ones. This is Korean style. Chapchu, chapche, chopche, it's called. Number seven. Oh, it's windy out here. There we go. Okay, Korean style. This one you can't see inside it. It's a secret. Yep, so you heat it up for four minutes and 20 seconds. That's a while. Pretty good weight on these things too. It's a lot of volume, so I'm gonna have to get Mega to help me eat this. A lot of noodles. Seems like we got two or three meals here, but we're gonna do a one just giant Mega Bonanza meal. And actually Mega, Mega Brain, he loves noodles. He's a big noodle guy, so he'll be able to munch them down. Speaking of noodles, we've <laughs> got one more here. <laughs> Harusame noodles, these are the green pea noodles, the green bean noodles, translucent. Yeah, definitely got to get that. Number 10. There they are, the green bean noodles. Oh, you get two of them. All of them you get two. You're not even paying attention here. Every one of these has got two servings. I didn't even notice that. I was so caught up in explaining to you what everything is. Two servings per package. That's pretty good value, because like every one of them is 600 yen. That's about, what, $4.50? So $2.25 per serving. That's not bad. Not bad. And you're just gonna add water. That's it. Or maybe even not. I don't even think you add water, you just heat it up. Pretty simple, we'll see. Okay, moving on, let's go over here. Let's check out this grand shiracha machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times three, 36 bottles you can choose from. Okay, this one takes cash too, that's good. 700 in a bottle. And officially, I do not have any sriracha in the house. There's none, so this is good. I actually need it. It's pretty, pretty tough to come by in Japan. I mean, you can buy it, but you, you gotta hunt it down. So it's kind of convenient that it's in a machine. And this is a gorgeous machine, right? You gotta love the uh, presentation, right? And this is the preferred hot sauce of gorillas. Look, see the gorilla right there? It says gorillas prefer the sir. I think that's what it says. Which one, number six? Look at the door is like disguised here. Can you see the door? You really gotta kinda look at it. Yeah, I like the packaging. It comes in a little tube. That's nice and it's refrigerated. All right. This will go nicely with the noodles. Yeah. Come on over here. Let's check out the flying fish. Soup stock from the Nitan Dashiyu. That's what dashi is. Dashi is the soup stock. And there's also a couple different types here, just like standard fish stock, a couple different types. But the flying fish, that's the one I'm interested in. For $7.50 a pop. $7.50. Money going in. 
And I believe this has the fish in the bottle. Yes, you can see it. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Try to give me a shot of it here. How's that? It's right there. That's the flying fish. All right, do we give it a try? Fish stock without uh, making any noodles or anything? Yeah, of course, let's do it on the spot. Just because it says do not drink. Do not drink, this is soup stock. Well, I don't know. I think soup stock is designed to be drank, drunk. Here we go. Wow, that is concentrated. This is probably like 300 servings of uh, uh, whatever to, uh, I can't even talk. 300 servings to flavor up your noodles or whatever it is. Let's try some more. If you just take a little bit, it's actually pretty good. The, the first swallow was too much. It's actually really delicious. I would definitely put this in my noodles, yeah, for sure. Noodles, rice, I don't know. It's, it's fish thing, it's a Japanese thing. But flying fish, you know, you drink enough of this stuff, it'll make you fly. Oh yeah. Let's get out of here and go eat. Is anybody hungry? I am starving, let's go. Let's go already. All right, and action. Look at all this fabulous food we've got, Mega. It's gorgeous. Really? This was a good one. Yeah, jackpot from the vending machine. I can tell just by looking at it, right? It looks yeah. incredible. All right, so let's start it off with the cotton pie, shall we? I'm having milk. What are you having? I'm having plan cocktail. All right, cheers. It's been a long time since I've had milk. Ready? Not really a milk guy. What do you think of that stuff? Meh. Nah. All right, let's trade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Compline number two. Cheers, number two. Had to give it a try. The milk. Oh yeah, this hits the spot. Refreshing. This is better. See the thing about milk, Japanese milk anyway, it's very rich, right? Can you see what percent this is? Does it say on here? It's three point five. Three point five percent. That's this pretty fatty for me or rich, let's not call it fatty, let's call it rich. Yeah. This is a plum sour. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, the plum sour from Sapporo? Yeah, Sapporo makes this. Okay, let's get into this food. I'm smelling so many different, what? Fragrances? No, fragrances, you don't call food fragrant, do you? Aromas. I'm smelling curry, I'm smelling beef, I'm smelling spice. What are you smelling? Curry. Curry, <laughs> yeah, there's curry. And then we've got these Dorias that are kind of covered up. Can't really smell them because they're really covered up. They've got the cellophane on them still. Yeah, okay, let's get into it. Where are you gonna go? You choose. I wanna eat the Doria. The Doria, okay. Yeah. That's a rice dish. We've got three of them. And seafood? Seafood, okay, start with the seafood. And then we've got noodles, and then we've got some beef, soups, curries, and then a salad, of course. Pretty well balanced. I think we did pretty good this time, running yeah. the machines. Okay, so the seafood doria, are you gonna scoop it up? Okay. Scoop it up onto our plates. Oh boy, that just big chunk just came right out of there. I hope we heated it up. It's funny, I'm smelling mashed potatoes, but this is a rice dish. Yeah. Okay. Cheese on top. Let's see if it, I'm looking at some shrimp in mine. Ready? Yeah, shrimp. That's the main seafood. It's creamy, isn't it? It's so creamy. Ooh, it's raw. just the cheese at most. The cheese, yeah, yeah, it is cheesy. That sauce. The sauce is boss, for sure. But actually, speaking of sauce, before we forget, right off the bat, I'm gonna go in for the sriracha sauce that we also got from the vending machine. 
What do you think? No, he's already like cleared no. his. No, thanks. I'm gonna go in just for a little bit. Sriracha. Chili sauce, I guess. It's just pretty rare to find in Japan, actually. But now they've got vending machines dedicated to selling it, so that's changing. Okay. Oh, sriracha, it's mellow. I could put way more. It's nice if you just put a little bit. I think you'd, you'd enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, now it's really coming on. <laughs> I take that back. Okay. What's up next? I'm gonna finish this door, yeah? You choose the next item. Definitely with sriracha. S R I R A C H A. Beef Java curry. Beef Java curry. Beef jerky curry. We thought it was beef jerky curry at first. <laughs> That'd be amazing, beef jerky curry, but it's beef Java curry from Indonesia. Okay. So this one we're just gonna have to spoon it out because it's a soup. We don't have any extra rice for this, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Well, we do have these little, do we have these little dishes here? We can do it in these little dishes. This will work. The chef has prepared us well. It smells heavenly. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it? it does. and I, I have been to Indonesia actually. I did a surf trip there. Made a video of that trip. And I'm gonna, I remember specifically the taste of this. We had it many several nights. Ready? It's. Oh, this is sweet. But it's sweet. nice. It's a really nice stew. It's really, really good. It has huge chunks of oh. beef. Oh my gosh, right? Stewed beef. What I had when I went to Indonesia was much spicier than this. This is just pretty mellow. But really tasty. Oh my gosh, lots of meat in it. No rice necessary. Yeah. Yeah? Oh my gosh, it's good. Great choice, Maggo. Choose again. You're on a roll, buddy. <laughs> you are on a roll. How about the uh, Cosmopolitan? Politian. Okay, Co Cosmopolitan. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a hard word in katakana when you sound it out in Japanese characters. Yeah. So Cosmopolitan meaning, I think it's it's chicken. There's three things. Chicken, I think vegetables, and something else. We have a cheat sheet somewhere. Or it just says right on it. There are these three things. It's shrimp, shrimp, chicken, chicken, mushrooms. Mushrooms, okay, I wasn't even close. How do you get this cellophane <laughs> off of here? You just rip into it. Okay, Doria. It's definitely a spoon dish rather than chopsticks. Would you agree? I agree. Okay, what am I doing pulling my chopsticks out? Save that for the salad. Okay, Cosmopolitan Doria. Here's what it looks like. Like close up number two. As you can see, the rice is on the bottom there. Good ratio between the, what, the topping and the rice, I think. Let's do it. What, what is that? <laughs> that sauce is. That sauce is, is calling the sriracha. It's, it's like a pottage, like corn pottage or something. Yeah. <laughs> like a baby could eat it. It's, yeah, let's spice it up. You wanna try some of the sriracha? I wanna try some. Oops, too much, sorry. Oh yeah, see that brings it just right up there. You think? Yeah. I think so. I don't eat Doria that often, but it's really pleasant. It is. You know? It's good stuff. And it's all mixed and prepared just right. You don't have to really add anything except this, of course, if you want some spice. Or heat, rather. Cosmopolitan. So far, I like the other one better. Me too. All right, should we go? Let's go right in for the third one, and then we can compare all of them. Last one is the beef stew, Doria. But we just did that amazing stew. Let's save this one for later. I say we do a, a, one of the noodle dishes. Okay. Since we got five of them. I'm gonna start with the curry. Yeah. You know that'll have some spice. Noodles, you definitely gotta do. Chopsticks. Okay, so the curry. And what else was in this, do you remember? We did have a cheat sheet that the chef gave us. It's just curry. Well, it's, veg it's vegetables, isn't it? We yeah, all have some we all have vegetables. Okay, but mainly, yeah, yeah okay, so uh, mainly a curry. Yeah. You can tell by the color, the yellowness. 
I'm seeing some paprika in here, some cabbage. Okay, let's do it. Mmm, this is pleasant. And these noodles, are these the harusami? What do you think? They're really like really thin noodles. This is the beefen. Yagi beefen. Okay, what he says. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Yeah. And we've done a good, not good, the curry's not too overpowering. Sometimes with like curry noodles or curry with anything can be overpowering the flavor, or the smell at least. So, not too much curry in these noodles. It's about right. Okay, so here we have a clarification. <laughs> These are rice noodles, curry rice noodles, that's what they are. And these are the harusame or green bean noodles, the transparent ones. That's the difference. Cause I don't know jack squat about noodles. <laughs> I'll just like say it straight up. I'm not a noodle guy. One more and then we take a break. What do you think? Okay. Okay, what's it gonna be? Okay, yeah, let's just do that. It's on the same plate. This one has chicken and vegetables inside. Okay, so green the bean noodles. Green bean noodles. The glass, and I like to call them glass noodles because they're like they're transparent. It's gorgeous, low calorie. And there's actually you can see the you can see the there's bean sprouts in here too. I like these. These are simple. Yeah. Just a, a bit of saltiness. That's it. It's nice. Yeah. Pureness. I mean, it sounds odd when you say green bean noodles, but they don't taste like green beans at all. They taste like noodles. Like they could be pretty filling. And the flavor is pretty strong. Yeah, the saltiness, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No spice whatsoever, right? Some vegetables in there. It's good. Could definitely put some sriracha on that. Yeah. Okay. So shall we take a little break here and do our cool stuff time? You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's take a break. Yes. Oh, that's a big box. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Thank you. Here, wait, I have something for you. It's an Eric Surf 6 Get Some Snack Pack. Here you go, thank you. Domo, arigatou It's like the best swag on all of YouTube. Hello, have a good night. Bye-bye. We are rocking. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing, Mega? I'm hanging out with the alien. <laughs> oh, that's what that is up there. Okay, I get it now. All right, come on, let's get busy and get into this box already, shall we? It's an alien. Let's do it. Bust into it. You know how to do that? Bust a move. All the way from Indiana, USA. And this is from... Josh and Tammy. I see a letter right on top. I see a letter. Okay. It says, Eric and Mega, greetings from Indiana. We have been watching for years and wanted to send you some snacks from our area as well as some other goodies. There is a debate in our house on which is better, Skyline Chili or Gold Star? I'm not familiar with either. Hope you and Mega settle it for us. Well, that's a possibility. We got more noodles to eat, so yeah. Okay, thanks for the awesome content you put out. We look forward to see what new machines you may find. Big fans, Josh and Tammy. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into the package. Jackpot, my goodness, look at this. Wow, I mean, wow. <laughs> Party chips happening here. Oh goodness. Mike's potato chips. No. Mick Mike Sells. It's Mikey Sells. Mikey Sells. Original potato chips. Yeah. And we have Grippos. Maui onion style. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. And then we've got the Grippos barbecue. Who's Grippo? I don't know, but we're gonna be eating some. Oh, this is a Grippo. Maybe, maybe. There's a Grippo. Grippo down right here. Grippo right there, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you, Grippo. <laughs> kind of looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy, doesn't he? Actually, we don't have any other dessert tonight. That's why we decided we gotta open it for this video. Sunflower seeds. We love sunflower seeds. Oh, yeah. The jumbos. These are the best. David Brand jumbos. And David Brand. Pistachio nuts? No. What are these? Pumpkin Walnuts? 
pumpkin seeds, that's right. They would be pumpkin seeds. I can't tell from looking at the back of the package. Definitely pumpkin seeds. Check it out, Megan, we got your favorite Reese's. No, not Reese's Pieces, but Reese's Pieces, not peanut butter cups, but same company. Good. We got some Airheads. Airheads, six different bars, assorted bars in here. That's cool. Okay. Are you happy, happy, happy? What the heck is this? It's like a happy moon pie. I can smell it too. It smells like kind of bananas or something. Good. We got some corn nuts, yo. It's been ages since I've had corn nuts. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. These are, is this what they were talking about? The chilies? Oh, Cincinnati chili. Look at, okay, this is the skyline. Okay, this is what they're talking about in the letter. The skyline chili and the gold star chili. Okay, so these are the two chilies they want us to grade and rank for them. Which do we like better? I think we'll save that for another video. We got microwave popcorn from the boss himself, Orville Redenbacher. What else? So many goodies in here. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, best day of my life. <laughs> And we've got some Montauk cookies, milk chocolate. If you're going to have a cookie, have a cookie. That's their slogan. If That's good. If you're going to have a cookie, have a cookie. The stupidest slogan ever. Okay, what do we have? We got a bottle of something here. Bottle of something. This is great. Oh my gosh, this is great. So much cool stuff. I'm not worthy. We're not worthy. We are worthy. Here we go, get some hot sauce. You got some hot sauce, boss. Yeah? What do you think? It looks spicy. Okay, we got another one of these guys. Nice, huh? they're taking care of both of us here. It's good, one each, and then we got another corn nuts. We got different flavors. Oh, late. hang on, hang on. We've got the original corn nuts. We've got the picante, and we've got chili. Oh, chili picante and ranch. So three different types. We can compare these too, the corn nuts. Yeah. Oh no way, we got some spaghetti. They sent us spaghetti, Mega. <laughs> nice, thin spaghetti. This is my favorite type, the thin, just like the noodles we're having. Thin spaghetti, all Italiano, it says. Yes. I love thin spaghetti. In fact, I won't even eat like regular spaghetti. Did you guys know that? I think they did. We've got some French chew taffy. Look at this, Mega. Everything's coming in twos. Taffy, I love taffy, oh my gosh. That looks bomb, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got some peanuts. Peanuts baseball season's almost over. Well, actually it is over, but that's okay. We love peanuts. We'll save it for football. Yeah. Salted roasted peanuts from the Cincinnati Reds. Actually, we have to use this for baseball because the Cincinnati Reds are a baseball team. Duh, they're not a football team, Eric. And how about this? Oh, these, you guys, you guys outdid yourselves. Look at this. We've got some gummy bears, the original, and we've got the sour, stays sour variety here. Oh my gosh. This is great. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hold on. Okay, so at the end of the meal, we will try some of this stuff. So actually, you never want to spit gummy bears on the ceiling or on a wall. You just, you don't want to go there, okay? But we have these other things that we got off of, what, Timu or some kind of cheap website. And these guys, these guys, you can throw at walls. Yeah, let's try it. All right, so here's what they look like. These are, what are we gonna call these? Gummy dudes. So we got Spider-Man on the left and we got Red on the right. And we'll see who wins. I'm gonna be throwing the red guy, you throw Spidey. And we'll see who sticks longer. Okay, ready? Okay. Throw it to the left of the dartboard in three, two, one. There they are. Now mine's down. Spidey. Spidey for the win, look at him. Of course, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Oh, Spidey! <laughs> oh, Spidey is the man. 
And oh, he's avoided the dark board. Okay, this could go on just for hours and hours because the floor is way down there. Oh, oh, I think he's done. This is it. He's gonna fall, right? Now, goodbye. No, he's still going. It's pretty awesome, right? It's awesome. Yeah, we were gonna promote the Timu company, but we decided not to. We got some cool stuff, but we got a bunch of stuff that was just total garbage, so. Eh. This, the Spider-Man, what, wall? Not gummy bear clingy thing. I don't know what they even call it. <laughs> but anyway, it's pretty cool. And now we present to you the silliest ever cool, cool stuff, stuff time. time. Ready? And go. Time for the chef salad. You ready for this, Mega? No, I want to try some of this. Good. All right, I guess we could do just one, but we don't want to kill our appetite. All right, let's just do one. Corn nuts. Corn nuts. Okay, corn nuts. And you went for the chili picante. Chili picante. Okay, good. That's a lot of corn nuts. <laughs> All right. Corn nuts, chili picante flavor. Get some! Oh my god, it's so crunchy! I really miss corn nuts. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy, and the flavor is really good. The chili picante is nice. Yeah. And I'm surprised that my teeth can actually handle eating these. Generally, I would like, no, I'm gonna back off on the corn nuts. I'm worried about my teeth, but. <laughs> I think I'm all right. No trip to the dentist necessary. <laughs> it's just that one tooth of the upper molar in the back. No, no just kidding. I'm, 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 we're good. They're good, right? They're good. And good size, too. I like These are kind of like the medium size ones. But may, I think it's the bigger ones that are harder to chew, maybe. These are not. They might be a little softer. It just, just seems like the right size. Good choice, Mega. All right, now. Let's get in here for the chef salad. How excited are you now on a one to six? One. A one. Okay, well, here, have have a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we waited a long time. Usually we start with the greens, but this is a little different today. Definitely different. But hey, we got a lot of snacks at the end. We got we got a lot of dessert stuff at the end, for sure. The secret dressing. So you went how much? A little bit or a lot? A little bit. Enough? Enough. Okay. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm a big fan of the chef's special secret sauce dressing. The dressing tastes like it's creamy, but it's got a bit of a vinegar flavor too. It's nice. It's not too thick like some dressings are. And it's nice with the tomatoes. And the, uh, the egg on the salad is nice. Like, um, it's like a half boiled egg or a soft boiled egg. No comment on the salad? No comment. Oh, um, that's what I figured. If I was your age, I wouldn't be commenting on any salad at any time ever in my life. Just wouldn't do it. Wouldn't know what to say. Wouldn't know what the ingredients were. Cucumbers. Some, what are those orange things called? Carrots. Carrots. Okay, he's a little bit, he's a little bit educated. More than I would have been at his age. Okay, so we're just chilling like aliens. Uh, what would aliens want to eat next? Because they're so skinny, you know? We got to feed these aliens, right? Yeah. But noodles, of course. <laughs> noodles are very filling. Yeah. Where we've got this Korean dish right here. What's, what's that called? You remember? It's the kojijang, right? Kojijang, yeah. And there's wagyu inside. Ooh. Should we just start with that? And we got one more doria, which is the beef stew doria, is yeah. that right? 
Okay. Oh, and we got drinks round two. You're doing more milk? Yeah. I'm doing a dry highball. Highballs have become, I believe, the most popular mixed drink in Japan, I would say. Right? If you go to a bar, highballs, they're it. That's what young people drink. It's low calorie. Yeah. Yeah, not too sweet. Pretty simple. Good. All right. So let's do some more. Let's get right in for some noodles, okay? Okay. Let's do noodles. This is noodles round two, the big plate. And do you remember the three types? This one has uh, fish eggs and mountain vegetables. Okay, let's do that one. It's, it's mentaiko, is that right? The yeah. type of fish eggs? It's tarako. Oh, tarako. Okay, tarako fish. And it's rice noodles. Bro. Rice noodles, okay. And the question is, does it need sriracha? I'm dipping mine in the chef's dressing. <laughs> That's nice. The rice noodles are so light, aren't they? Yeah. And good flavor. I really like these. And you know, the price for these, this is only half. We just, there's two packs in each of the portions that came out of the vending machine. And we just did one of each. So I'm surprised that, right, for 300 yen, right, you get two for 600. So 300 yen is one serving, which is about what, $2.50, two, and a quarter maybe. That's pretty reasonable. Right? Yeah. Because they're they're good size servings. They all taste good. So yep. far. Yeah, the flavor is it's very gourmet. And not too much spice on that one. Because yeah. sometimes the, the tarako, the fish roll does have, but this one, which one did you say it was again? The the fish eggs? It's tarako. Ta oh, it is tarako. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the other one's the men taiko is the spicy one. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this one next, which is also the rice noodle. And this one is a regular one. Oh boy. I'm gonna put some sriracha on this. Just for fun. <laughs> How about you? Me too. We're gonna go a little bit? Yeah. Welcome to the world of sriracha. Apparently in, in America, there's all these different types of sriracha, different, I guess, flavors. But this is just the basic chili. It's the Japan, because this is made in Japan. I guess they have a license. It or wait, smells weird. does it say it's made in America? It says made in Japan, but it's the American chili sauce. It's the American recipe, the yeah. standard. Mm. Goes really good with the sriracha sauce. It's pretty spicy. That's the point. And nice, there's some vegetables in this one. I like that. Yeah. They're, they're all hearty dishes, right? I think. Hearty meaning, you know, filling. Yeah. But I just said that the rice noodles aren't that filling, that they're light. So it's both, if that makes sense. It's kind of like when, when I go to eat sushi, I'll eat a, a, like a bunch of sushi, and then 30 minutes later, I'll, I'll be hungry again. Because the rice, the amount of rice that you eat, you think it's a lot, but it's really not. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sushi overall is not that filling. <laughs> okay, and this one, the glass noodles, What's all this noise we got going on? <laughs> we got somebody recycling cans out there on the balcony. So this one is, can you identify this one, Mega? This one is the chapche green bean noodles. Chapche, Korean style, green bean noodles. This one looks like it's gonna be naturally spicy, just by the color. This one's on a different level, isn't it? It is. Wow, leave it to the Koreans to season noodles. It's amazing. Wow. It's got sesame oil in it. A little bit of heat, but not too much. These are really good. I think out of all, I think we saved the best for last. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, the sesame oil. It's a richness. It just, it's just an overall, just nice flavor. They're all good though. Just like Mega says, they're all flavored really nice. I mean, you can't beat it for what? $2.25 a package. I could eat these things every day, I think. Me too. Well, you know, the rice noodles, or, you know, whatever, the green bean noodles, but compared to eating just rice, I, I would prefer the noodles more. And I, and I really like the thin noodles. They just, they don't feel as filling to me as like ramen or soba, buckwheat noodles or udon. Yeah. It's light, nice. 
Okay, we got two dishes left here. Is it doing another Doria? And do you remember what this one was? This one is curry stew Doria. Curry stew Doria. Curry stew Doria, he says. Okay, got your spoon ready. Get some. Ooh, look at that, there's some stew right there. And did you say this was Wagyu? No, this is the one that has the Wagyu. Yeah. Some Japanese beef. I mean, let's talk about Wagyu for a minute. You know, it's kind of an overused term, like a marketing term that's used in Japan to sell beef or meat. But all Wagyu isn't like top grade Japanese beef. So, I mean, there's, there's lower grades of, of Wagyu as well too, that are just kind of like any import beef. So you get, kinda gotta be careful. You don't wanna necessarily pay a premium for it when it, it's just like a standard beef from anywhere. That's all we're trying to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you can treat yourself to some A4, A5 Wagyu beef and have that not mix with anything, have that like teppanyaki style. And oh, mwah. that's how you'll be able to appreciate the higher grades or just Basically, yeah, Wagyu in its pure form, which is the real Japanese beef, right? A3, A4, A5, those are the ones that are, yeah, up there and worth a premium to pay. Okay, let's do this. I'm going right in for the beef. Tastes like Wagyu. No. <laughs> this is beef stew. Stew, you, I mean, if it's stewed, yeah. I don't know, it still tastes, I don't know, it could be Wagyu. It's very cheesy. <laughs> it's very juicy. It's good. Yeah, I like it. It's filling. And there's a good amount of beef stew in here. Yeah? Yeah. Good mix, I would say. Oh, and there's some fatty meat too. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of like half and half between like the beef stew on top mixed with the cheese and then half rice on the bottom. It's about 50-50, right? Yeah, kind of. You know, can you see that? It's it's about 50-50, which is a nice, I think a nice ratio. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes Drodia, it's mostly all rice and then some sauce and then hardly any meat at all, so. The Royal Deli did well. That was the vending machine from the Royal Deli. Whatever that means, the Royal Deli. It's, it's not a restaurant, it's just that's what they named the machine, I believe. There's a restaurant that's called the Royal Host, which is a family style type of Japanese restaurant, right? Yeah. But the Royal Deli, it's a mystery. Okay, let's do the last dish, Mega, shall we? Okay. And this is the kochijan? Kochijan, yeah. Kochijan, the Korean style spicy soup. So you got something to put it in? And this one has the Wagyu. Yeah, I, I just got a huge piece of wagyu. I got to show this to the camera. Was that just by chance? Look at how, look at the size of that. That's a massive piece of wagyu right there. And then I will give the wagyu a ranking. Is it A1, A2, A3? I think it, it goes up to A5. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's really soft. Oh my God, this is like the softest beef stew ever. It's hard to give it a ranking though, because it's it's in a stew, it's a stew form, but did you have it? It's soft, right? It's, it's really soft. soft. Interesting. Oh, and the vegetables in here, and the spice, and I love it. Oh, I gotta get some more. A lot of vegetables in here. Onions, mountain vegetables, there's the Korean vegetable, the mountain vegetables, namuru, is inside here. Bean sprouts, and this is the spiciest dish. Of the evening, I would say. What do you, do you agree? I agree. Yeah, that's how it is. I think it's good to save the spiciest thing till last because <laughs> if you don't, it just kind of kills your taste buds for eating stuff afterward, right? Yeah. yeah, that's the way to do it. Start off with the mild things first and save the spiciest for last. It's not too spicy, Bill. It's not, you're right, it's not too spicy, but there's definitely like, some heat to it. I like all the vegetables. Okay, so we have cleared all of the vending machines food, but we are not finished yet. We have got to do some more exploring into the care package. <coughs> what do you mean it's not that hot? <laughs> I'm dying over here. 
<coughs> Mega is stepping it up with the heat lately. It's when you drink the soup that it hits you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whew. Highball to the rescue. Milk to the rescue. Milk's a good one. All right. So what do you say, Megan? We try out a few of these treats, snacks from Indiana. All right. Yeah. These. I think we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cook these. Okay. The chili. So two different types of chili. That it's on the picture. It's it's with the, like a hot dog. So that's one way. But I think in a future video, we are going to compare these. So I guess we'll, maybe we'll make ballpark hot dogs, chili dogs. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do this. We'll keep these out around here. I'm thinking that the chips, I, the, the Maui onion, these grippos. Gripos or grippos? What is it? <laughs> Let's call them grippos. Grippos. Get a grip on the bag. Maui onions, smell of sweetness. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Let me get something to put these out on. Okay. They're ruffle style. Okay. Sweet Maui onion flavored. So sweet, it tastes like sugar. The Maui onion style potato chips I'm used to are more of a vinegar flavor. These are really sweet. <laughs> yeah. Mostly it tastes like sugar. They're not bad though. They're not bad. They're not bad. I was just expecting more of a vinegar taste. Yeah. But I can't stop eating them at the same time. And it's very light. Wow. Well, let's compare that to the other Grippos. Let's compare that to the Grippos barbecue, shall we? Okay. Oh, smell that. Oh. It smells like the house oh. is on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, look at the color. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here you go. Oh, it's like night and day. Okay. It's like potato chips with sriracha sauce on them or something, right? What do yeah. you think? I'm tasting the same sweetness <laughs> as the same sugar as the... <laughs> but it's hot. There is some heat. Yeah, it's like it's, it's but it's got the sweetness and it's got the heat. This is mo the most bizarre potato chips I've ever had. I love it. I love it because they're different. Yeah. Go with these though. It's like you think they're gonna be okay. You taste the sweetness at first and say, "Oh, this is like this is mellow. I could just eat, eat, eat," and then the heat follows. Okay, just one last, <laughs> one last little mouthful. But they're nice and fresh. I like that, like the texture's good. The sweetness is interesting to me. What do you think? I mean, I've never had like potato chips that are sweet, ever. Me too. This is, there's something interesting about them. They're both equally interesting. Let's just say that, interesting. Okay, so we do one more item. Let's do something like really sweet. I, I'm kind of thinking like this. Okay. All right, well, you, well, you, you want, yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do both. Okay, so we're gonna do the, it's called the Original Ice Cookie by the Bee Company. What's up, Bee, what's up, Bee? It's by the Buskin Company. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of like a moon pie. Yeah, and then we'll finish with the candies or the gummies. You gotta eat half of this first. Let's do this first. Okay, you get the big half. Try not to get cookie crumbs all over the floor. We always have to vacuum up after every shoot anyway. That's the only way the chef allows us to do videos here. Okay, anyway, anywho. Is it a happy cookie? We'll let you know. The texture's bizarre. And I like a mix between a cookie and cake. Yeah, Somewhere in the middle. I like the icing. The yellow happy face icing is pretty good. It's bizarre. It's so different from anything I've ever had. How about you? <laughs> what? The texture is. It's weird. Yeah, so it, it's like a. We got kind of like shortcake. No. It's crumbly. You, you have to eat it over something. Or, yeah. Oh, like old school. Yeah, I'm a fan. It feels nostalgic. Meaning, when I was a kid, I might have had something like this. One more item. What's it gonna be, Mega? 
What is it going to be? Gummy bears? Gummy bears. Oh, yeah, gummy bears. Yeah, we've got, every country's got their own gummy bears. So, possibly every state has their own gummy bears. Oh, boy. After that cookie. That, it's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a dry cookie. But it's good. Okay, gummy bears. Oh, they smell heavenly. You went for the, did you go for the basics? The originals? Yeah. Okay, good. They smell amazing. Yeah. So, Albanese, the world's best. Okay, Albanese. Gummy bears. Okay. Here we go. Albanese gummy bears from America. But you know, so good. they smell amazing. All right. I'm going for the red one. They're super soft. Right? <laughs> They're really, really soft. And just a nice fruity flavor. It's juicy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just blow away any Japanese gummy bears, right? Yeah. But you know what the real test of gummy bears is, right? We tried it in a previous video. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, right? The test of a really good quality gummy bear is, does it stick to the ceiling or not? Shall we find out? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. <laughs> okay. All right, so you go first, Mega. Try not to make a mess. Ready? Nope. Ready? I'll try with the green one. Ready? I'm gonna stand up. Good. Go. When the camera angle gets up. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> nope. Okay. So perhaps the ceiling was a bit too tall of an order. How about just go for the wall? Okay, that's that may, might be a little more reasonable. You know? Okay, ready? Okay. Oh. Make sure the wall's nice and clean because I want to be eating it afterwards. All righty. <sighs> nope. That's a fail. That's a fail. Alrighty, so now it is time to rank this meal on our scale between one and six mega heads in your case. Where are you gonna to go today? Overall ranking of this vending machines extravaganza and care package from, oh my gosh, we gotta thank these guys. Big fans, Josh and Tammy, thank you so much for this fabulous care package from Indiana. Thank you. Yeah, that was awesome. I think you guys made the video. Yeah. yeah. So Mega, let's talk about the food for a second. We had like five different types of noodles, the rice noodles and then the uh, green bean harusame noodles. We also had some three different doria dishes, right? Yeah. Rice dishes. Very interesting. Nice flavors, a lot. It was meat heavy, I would say. There was a lot of different meats mixed in with the dishes. And yeah, we're going to go. The care package is part of this too. I think that's that's a big part of it. The gummy bears maybe not so much. So, <laughs> Chef got really angry when he started spinning <laughs> the gummy bears around. We might have to find a new studio. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna go six. Six out of six. And the reason being, the reason being, the noodles were just perfect. Just perfect. Yeah. And we we got some leftovers. Not leftovers, we have stuff that's still in its original packages. Half of this meal, actually, we didn't even put on the table because it would have been too much food, right? But the value, I think, is really exceptional. I think I, I would go six as well, too. Good flavors for all the noodle dishes and the dodias as well, too. From vending machines, I honestly, I wasn't expecting that gourmet type of food like this. It was, all of it was pretty delicious. I would definitely eat it again. And the care package, amazing. So. We're doing a giveaway. That's three of our get some snack packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link on the screen, but basically it's goodies from Japan. Not quite as extensive as this box. It's a bit of a smaller box. You saw it actually, where if I gave one to the delivery person today. And, but it's stuff that we've refined over the years in Japan. It's the best of the best snacks. So anyway, if you're interested in trying to win one of those, just put a comment down below on this video and we shall select three winners and announce them in the very next Eric Meal Time in the video description. So thank you guys so much for watching and what else? 
Should they buy a t-shirt? This is one of ours, isn't it? Always take the stairs. I live by it. Always take the stairs. Great slogan. Yeah, I love that shirt. You know, that's people ask all the time, Eric, it's like, how do you stay so fit? And I'm like, well, I always take the stairs. I eat a lot, but if you take the stairs all the time, and that's one way to get free exercise without going to the gym. So anyway, we look forward to reading your comments and we shall see you in the next one. Eric and Mega, out of here. It's Tag's love.